welcome to my channel uh, today we are going to do a very simple video on simulating an uh, automatic lighting system so have you ever wondered how automatic security systems works such that uh, during the day the lights are off and during the night the lights are on that's something that you're going to do i'm going to design a simple circuit to illustrate how that system works and then uh, after doing that i'm going to simulate uh, my circuit in uh, proteus eda so that we can see whether the circuit works so you know, from the look of things i came up a, a simple design i came up a simple a very simple design and in my design uh, i had some uh, components that are needed to make this project successful and as you can see we have the circuit here and the components that we have is uh, our main component is the IC7 for IC we have an LED that is light emitting diode and uh, in uh, Proteus the LED that you are going to make use of is the LED BIBY or BBY and then we are going to have a potentiometer of a rated at 1 kilo ohm to ensure that this project is a success and then we are going to have a resistor that is resistor rated at 220 ohms uh, we are going to have a torch LDR that is light uh, dependent resistor not detection but it's a light uh, de depending uh, dependent resistor and then we have uh, a, a, another resistor of one kilo ohm and then we shall be connecting power uh, positive power to our circuit so this is how our circuit should look like uh, from my look of thing the way i think and uh, how i analyzed it this is how it should look like and uh, we are going to see whether it will work so let's get started with the uh, kicad uh, not cake card but proteus we see whether we are going to get this thing the right way so we open our proteus i eda then we see whether we are going to achieve this so we open on a new project because we're starting a new project let's, let's wait for it uh, to open yes so in our new project we're going to give our new project the name and this is automatic lighting system automatic lighting system simulation we want to simulate it then we go to next so we leave that one at default do not create PCB yes no firmware yes we don't need a firmware and then we finish our project like that and so we wait for our project to work now we, we need components our first component you have said is an IC that is 741 IC yes enter Another component you need to use is the LED, and you have said it's B by like that. Double click here. Another component we need to add to our project is a potentiometer that is port. Let me choose the HG port like this one. Another component you're going to use in our design. Is a resistor press, but now this one is 220 ohms, so we must be very, very, very specific. So, resistor 220 kilo ohm, this one is good. Double click, then you add another resistor of 1k, this one at 10 watt is good. Besides the resistors and the potential meters, we are going to have now the LDR and we are going to use this on torch because we shall be using the system whereby uh, we shall use this as our sun. So when it is uh, oh, 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 
it is not the on uh, the system works whereby our light is on but when the sun is on you will see our system should go off so we double click here we add that one. then we add our final one is power those are enough components for a start so we start laying down our components like this that's our first component okay 10 watt resistor this one we can rotate it either way like that we should be having our potentiometer like this again oh, sorry again we rotate it anti-clockwise like that so you see uh, we start wearing our diagram we power it like that then this one we can make it drag it like that this one we connect like that then we have our um, touch system we can connect it somewhere there like that then we can wire it simple like that this one is connected to seven volts power then we have this one connected there like that this one should be connected to this one we are grounding all these other parts so like that we should be grounding this one too then we have our um, other resistor that is for powering our LED. You cannot connect an LED without a resistor, of course, it's, it's common sense. Because if you do that, then it will burn out due to overheating. So the resistor is good for dissipating excessive heat. So you have it like this, then we need to connect some power here so we can center our project. Somewhere there. Then I'm going to connect to our power. It is uh, power this one like this. We connect there. Then I'm going to ground our project. Okay, like this. We connect there. And we can control save. That is control S. So this is our project and it's ready for simulation. So let's see how it's going to work. Now let's uh, simulate it like this. Now you can see our, our LED is on. Why is it on? The LED is on because now we don't have the sun. Our LDR is dark. It's in darkness and we don't have any light. So how do we go about it? Let's put this one on and put some light on the RDR and then we see what is going to happen. So you see when the RDR is approach is being brightened you will see our security light system goes off meaning that this is during the daytime and our security system is off but sometimes we don't need the system to work how do we do we use this potentiometer to 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 to, to put it off let's see so sometimes we have our air uh, the light on but during the night maybe sometimes we don't need this light to be on and we need it off so we shall be using our potentiometer knob to turn it off so as you increase the resistance you can see it's getting on so let's do it like this let's see what will happen now you see when we have uh, our resistance uh, or our potentiometer at zero our light is on it, it, it is off meaning that our system cannot work whether it's during the dark time or during the daytime our system still does not work because we have done what we have deactivated our potentiometer which is acting as a switch to power on the LED if we, we do this we try to add some potentiometer you can see a little bit of of resistance and our lights are 
all. So this is how our automatic lighting system works and we have simulated it in Proteus EDA to confirm that it is working. Thank you very much. Keep subscribing to our channel. Keep watching. Keep following so many circuits uh, to come and you're going to enjoy and learn too much in electrical engineering, electronic engineering, software design and uh, circuit design. Thank you and welcome always. Goodbye for now.